There's a reason money and trap aren't words we want to be associated with. But for far too many people today, that combo sums up their daily reality. We find ourselves chasing that next dollar like our life depends on it. You know that feeling of running on a never-ending hamster wheel? Feeling stuck in an endless cycle of needing more and more just to survive? So many people today feel caught in this endless cycle. I call it the money trap and it imprisons more people than we may realize. It's common to wonder why so many people get caught in the trap of constant money worries. The truth is, this trap is defined by a never-ending cycle of financial struggles that many people face today. Despite working full-time, expenses keep rising faster than income. This is due to record inflation, stagnant wages, and rising inequality that have strained the budgets of many Americans. Over the past 40 years, average hourly wages have only risen by 17% after inflation. In contrast, housing prices have increased by 121%, healthcare by 151%, and college tuition by a staggering 1,120%. As a result, costs keep rising exponentially while incomes barely budge. As a consequence, nearly 80% of workers now live paycheck to paycheck, which is a worrisome trend. Household debt has recently hit a record high of $16 trillion, and the average credit card debt is $6,194. These realities fuel the money trap, and the toxic effects on health and well-being are real. Our wider culture and media fixates on and idolizes displays of wealth, status, and materialism. Just look at how celebrities flaunt over-the-top lifestyles. Many of us tie our self-worth to reaching these unrealistic standards, feeling like failures if we don't have enough money. Most people live paycheck to paycheck, one crisis away from financial ruin. Some become consumed by work addiction, sacrificing everything for the sake of a bigger paycheck to chase expectations of lifestyle and status. Non-stop hustling grinds away mental health, relationships, and purpose. Others remain stuck in jobs they absolutely hate, just for the stable pay and benefits they can't risk losing. Dreams of a career change or starting a passion business seem financially impossible, no matter how miserable the daily grind becomes. And many become imprisoned in high-interest debt cycles, turning to predatory lenders and credit cards to fund basic expenses or a materialistic lifestyle peddled through ads and social media. But the debt repayments just snowball, digging the financial hole deeper every month. Perhaps the most painful impact is the internalized shame, inadequacy, and anxiety brewing under the surface. Society implicitly tells us that falling short financially equals failure as a person. It convinces us that our human worth and value are determined by income level and material wealth accumulated. Before moving on, here's a quick question to consider. Should we strive for financial freedom or just wealth and status? Is there really a difference? Curious to hear your thoughts in the comments below and consider hitting the like button if you're enjoying this video so far. The truth is, we don't have to keep buying into the lie. The money trap thrives when we tie self-worth to net worth. But our value isn't measured by a paycheck or bank account. Money should serve life, not control it. True prosperity integrates financial stability with well-being. It's having economic security without being enslaved to the hunger for more. Escaping the trap begins by examining the internalized money myths that we must sacrifice all for the sake of being rich. Financial freedom isn't just about income level. It's about feeling content with enough, finding meaning and purpose beyond work, prioritizing health, family, and self-development. In reality, there are people who have broken free from the trap's clutches, valuing purpose over endless profit, freedom over frantic striving. Take Warren Buffett, for instance. The billionaire investor leads a frugal life, still living in the modest Omaha home he bought in 1958 for $31,500. He also donates billions through the Giving Pledge. He is fully devoted to giving away his fortune, not endlessly growing it. Daniel Swello, also known as the man who quit money, Swello lives an alternative, vagabond lifestyle without using cash. Now, we're not advocating you should live extremely like him, but there should be a balance. These individuals show us that true prosperity lies in aligning work and lifestyle with personal fulfillment, not just money. The money trap convinces us that our worth and potential are defined by our net worth. But it's a distortion of what matters most. Let me know your biggest takeaways on this issue. What other toxic impacts do you see from the relentless make money or die trying mindset? 
How have you worked to escape the money trap? Share your insights and let's keep this conversation going. The first step is acknowledging we have a problem. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and consider watching our other videos right here.